In mathematics, the method of steepest descent or stationary phase method or Saddell point method is an extension of Laplace's method for approximating an integral, where one deforms a contour integral in the complex plane to pass near a stationary point, in roughly the direction of steepest descent or stationary phase. The saddle point approximation is used with integrals in the complex plane, whereas Laplace Euro unregistered trademark S method is used with real integrals. The integral to be estimated is often of the form where C is a contour and I is large. One version of the method of steepest descent deforms the contour of integration so that it passes through a zero of the derivative ga euro squared, z, in such a way that on the contour G is real and has a maximum at the zero. The method of steepest descent was first published by Debye, who used it to estimate Bessel functions and pointed out that it occurred in the unpublished note Riemann about hypergeometric functions. The contour of steepest descent has a minimax property, C for Doriuk. Siegel described some other unpublished notes of Riemann, where he used this method to derive the Riemann Siegel formula. A simple estimate, let a euro f, s, cn a c and c ash cn. If where denotes the real part, and there exists a positive real number I0 such that, then the following estimate holds. The case of a single non-degenerate saddle point equals basic notions and notation equals, let X be a complex and dimensional vector, and denote the Hessian matrix for a function S, X. If is a vector function, then its Jacobian matrix is defined as a non-degenerate saddle point, Z O S C N, of a holomorphic function S, Z, is a point where the function reaches an extremum equals zero, and has a non-vanishing determinant of the Hessian. The following is the main tool for constructing the asymptotics of integrals in the case of a non-degenerate saddle point. Equals complex Morse lemma equals, the Morse lemma for real-valued functions generalizes as follows for holomorphic functions, Near a non-degenerate saddle point Z O of a holomorphic function S, Z, there exist coordinates in terms of which S, Z, a S, Z O, is exactly quadratic. To make this precise, let S be a holomorphic function with domain W ash C N, and let Z O and W be a non-degenerate saddle point of S, that is, a S, Z O, equals zero and then there exist neighborhoods U ash W of Z O and V ash C N of W equals zero, and a bijective holomorphic function I V A U with I, zero, equals Z O such that. Here, the I one quarter J are the eigenvalues of the matrix. Equals the asymptotic expansion in the case of a single non-degenerate saddle point equals, assume, a euro for euro, Z, and S, Z, are holomorphic functions in an open, bounded, and simply connected set I copyright X ash C N such that the X equals I copyright X A copyright R N is connected. Has a single maximum, for exactly one point X O and X. X O is a non-degenerate saddle point equals zero and. Then, the following asymptotic holds. Where I one quarter J are eigenvalues of the Hessian and are defined with arguments. This statement is a special case of more general results presented in Fedoriuk. Equation can also be written as where the branch of is selected as follows. Consider important special cases, if S, X, is real valued for real X and X O in R N, then if S, X, is purely imaginary for real X and X O in R N, then where denotes the signature of matrix, which equals to the number of negative eigenvalues minus the number of positive ones. It is noteworthy that in applications of the stationary phase method to the multidimensional WKB approximation in quantum mechanics, and is related to the Maslow index C, for example, Chaikian and DeMichael van Schulman. The case of multiple non-degenerate saddle points, if the function S, X, has multiple isolated non-degenerate saddle points, that is, where is an open cover of I copyright X, then the calculation of the integral asymptotic is reduced to the case of a singe saddle point by employing the partition of unity. The partition of unity allows us to construct a set of continuous functions i k, x, i copyright x a, 0, 1, 
1 a per mil currency k a per mil currency k, such that whence therefore as i a a we have where equation was utilized at the last stage, and the pre-exponential function a euro for euro, x, at least must be continuous. The other cases, when a s, z o, equals zero and, the point z o a c n is called a degenerate saddle point of a function s, z. Calculating the asymptotic of when i a a, a euro for euro, x, is continuous, and s, z, has a degenerate saddle point, is a very rich problem, whose solution heavily relies on the catastrophe theory. Here, the catastrophe theory replaces the Morse lemma, valid only in the non-degenerate case, to transform the function s, z, into one of the multitude of canonical representations. For further details see, for example, Poston and Stewart and Fedoriuk. Integrals with degenerate saddle points naturally appear in many applications including optical course sticks and the multidimensional WKB approximation in quantum mechanics. The other cases such as, for example, a euro for euro, x, and or s, x, are discontinuous or when an extremum of s, x, lies at the integration region's boundary, require special care and wong. Extensions and generalizations An extension of the steepest descent method is the so called nonlinear stationary phase steepest descent method. Here, instead of integrals, one needs to evaluate asymptotically solutions of Riemann a Euro Hilbert factorization problems. Given a contour C in the complex sphere, a function f defined on that contour and a special point, say infinity, one seeks a function m holomorphic away from the contour C with prescribed jump across C, and with a given normalization at infinity. If F and hence M are matrices rather than scalars this is a problem that in general does not admit an explicit solution. An asymptotic evaluation is then possible along the lines of the linear stationary phase steepest descent method. The idea is to reduce asymptotically the solution of the given Riemann Euro Hilbert problem to that of a simpler, explicitly solvable, Riemann Euro Hilbert problem. Cauchy's theorem is used to justify deformations of the jump contour. The nonlinear stationary phase was introduced by Dieft and Zoll in 1993, based on earlier work of the Russian mathematician Alexanderitz. A nonlinear steepest descent method was introduced by Canvases, K. McLaughlin, and P. Miller in 2003, based on previous work of Lax, Levermore, Dieft, Benikides, and Zoll. As in the linear case, Steepest descent contours solve a minute max problem. The nonlinear stationary phase steepest descent method has applications to the theory of soliton equations and integrable models, random matrices and combinatorics. See also, Piercy integral. Notes. References. Chaikian, M. Demikov, A. Path Integrals in Physics Volume 1, Stochastic Process and Quantum Mechanics. Taylor and Francis, pages 174, ISBN 0750308801 X, Dibu, P, Na currency her runs form M far one quarter a die island a function and far one quarter a gruel work day arguments and umbeshra currency NKT vera currency and a leish work day index, mathematish annalen 67, 535 a euro 558, doi. 10.1007 slash bfo 1450097 English translation in Dibu. Peter J. W. The Collected Papers of Peter J. W. Dibu. Interscience Publishers, Incorporated, New York, ISBN 978-0-918024-58-9, Mr. 0063975, Dieft, P. Zoll, X. A steepest descent method for oscillatory Riemann Hilbert problems. Asymptotics for the MKDV equation, An. Of Math 137, pages 295 a Euro 368, doi, 10.2307 slash 2,946,540, JSTOR 2,946,540. Erdly I, A. Asymptotic expansions, Dover. Fedoriuk, MV, Saddle Point Method, in Haswinkel, Mikiel, Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer, 
ISBN 978-1-55608-010-4. Fedoriuk, M. V., Asymptotic, Integrals and Series, Norka, Moscow, in Russian. Canvases, S. McLaughlin, K. T. R. Miller, P. Semi-classical soliton ensembles for the focusing nonlinear Schre paragraph Dingo equation. Annals of Mathematics Studies 154. Riemann, B. Salos Filgimento del Quotient di Duceria per Geometric and Frasian Continua Infinita. Siegel, C. L. Alba Riemann's Nakoni zur Analytischen Zorhem Theory, Quellen Studien zur Gestrik der Math. Astronomphys. Abt. B. Studien 2, 45 a Euro 80 reprinted in G. Simult Abend Lungen, Volume 1. Berlin, Springer Verlag, 1966. Poston, T. Stewart, I. Catastrophe Theory and Its Applications, Pittman. Shulman, L.S., C.H. 17, The Phase of the Semiclassical Amplitude, Techniques and Applications of Path Integration, Dover, ISBN 0486445283, Wong, R., Asymptotic Approximations of Integrals, Academic Press.